Rightio guys, welcome back to the Salty Channel. So today's episode, we've come down for a quick squid. Uh, work hasn't started yet, so I've just come down just to catch some squid for dinner, go to work, come home, cook these babies up. But what I am at uh, is a local spot, land base. I've just got uh, one of my jigs here. If you can see that, it's pretty dark. I don't like filming in the dark, but uh, the sun is gonna come up soon. But that's it, just a little 2.5 Kimura. I'm gonna bust it out now, guys. Let's catch a squid, stop talking. Let's get it all done, eh? There's a hole right here. Can't see it yet, but as the sun comes up, you definitely see it. Let that sink a bit. With all this bait just swimming around in the water. Hoping there's a hole here full of weed, there's going to be a squid. Come baby, where are you? Oh, we're on. Just like that. There we go, guys. I've got one. Beautiful. That's what we want. First up, squid on. Not the biggest, but uh, it's going to be juicy for dinner, eh? But look at those colours of the camouflage on them. The big eye, just to see this jig at night, all the predators. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it's ink me. All right, so let's uh, organise this guy and uh, get back in the water. <laughs> Scoot on. <laughs> what we're getting today <laughs> right guys so we've got some squid on board but i don't know if you can see it now and the sun's come up it just uh drops off right there and it goes all the way along that it's all like weed and that little dark patch there that's where we're fishing there's another spot just on that point over there i will try but right now Let's see what we can get out of here. We're going to cast it over there. That jig is drifting straight across that weed bank. Oh, Bomb me across. But if you had a kayak out here right now, you would clean up covering ground. Get on. Yeah. It's real finicky, eh? They really, really want that on the paws today. They're not very aggressive. But, we've got a dish we can make up, guys. There you go. So I'm actually using my kayak uh, combo right now a bit small, six foot eight. It does the job. The little 1,000 six pound line, uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon leader with the smallest swivel possible. That's all it is, really. Very, very basic. 
don't need too much. Just patience. So what I might do is get this line in, maybe move along, check the other weed bank and then come back here later on. The squid do spook. We've got about five squid in that little spot just here. Time to move. We'll come back to this spot. That's good. The sun's come up. I've got some dinner. Oh, that's cool. Look at that piece of wood. That would be awesome for the garden. You know what, I'm gonna try and take that home with me today. Wow. It's like off this jetty or something. That's gonna be perfect for my veggie garden, guys. Oh, that's wicked. Anyway, let's carry on. Yep, and here he is. Oh, he's right on the tentacle as well. I need to nurse this guy up. Just on there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. What is that? He's been eating a blowy. No? <laughs> What's happening here? This blowy has lost its face. Look, what's happened here? I don't know if that squid's been eating that blowy or what, but that blowy's still kicking. It was still kicking. Look, look, there it is. How's that? Well, I just pulled that squid off with this blowy. Poor bugger. Get back in, eh? But, main event. Is this squid? We're getting a little bag now, aren't we? Ooh, boom! Straight out the ballpark. We're just gonna move back to the other spot, guys. We've got one squid there, which was a better size. It's just gone a little bit quiet, so I reckon they're in the shallows today. But, um, hey, can't complain about that. What do we got, about six or seven squid? A little lamb base session, just before work. Bloody wicked. Okay, where are we? Where's that lovely rock I was on this morning? I've got a piece of wood to take home. That is going to break my back, I reckon. Ooh. Um, where are we? Bloody lost now. Okay, here we go. Back on the spot. We are back. to the squid hole. But how's that last squid with the blowy? <laughs> Crazy. Let's 
squid on. Jeez, they're so finicky today. Oh, he's gone everywhere. He's splurting that baby. Another one. What I might do is have a couple more casts and uh, head off to work. But um, we do have a feed. Very, very finicky today. Got to really let that jig drop down just do its thing not very aggressive feeders it must be all the big ones must be out in the deep today right, here we go cast cast Actually, two squid down there right now. Hopefully, they see my jig when it comes in. <laughs> I just got to hit then. Oh, so there we have it. Oh, he's doing a back shot. So, there we go, guys. We have the last squid on the last cast. This jig has been super beaten up. Look at it, all the. All the fabric's just all ripped off, but these guys aren't too fussy. You know what, let's pack up. I'm gonna go to work. I'll see you guys back at my house for a lovely feed. Pull these babies right here. Oh, look at that ink. I wonder how many we got. Oh, I'm stuck in there, big and small and bloody. <laughs> stuck in there. Come on, mate, give, give up the ghost. Here we go. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How's that for a little session, guys? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine squid, big and small. That is going to be plenty for a family of four. Pretty stoked about that. But for now, let's go get that chunk of wood and break my back. <laughs> this thing is so goddamn heavy. Things you do. Ugh. Right, okay, guys. I've got this uh, big log here. I reckon I've done a left nut uh, trying to get this thing up the groin and down to the vehicle but um, I'm going to use this thing for a dragon fruit tree so I'll uh, obviously burn an end, concrete it in, maybe cut it off here and uh, do another little frame on that for the dragon fruit tree but um, oh man, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a simple recipe today just a uh, pasta dish, a bit of white sauce. I wouldn't say it's a cabanara because it's not traditional cabanara. I will get reamed by the Italians with a, well, doesn't have cream and all that in it. But uh, I'm just heading out to get some eggs. Veggie garden's looking splendid. Bees are doing their job. And hopefully we've got some eggs. So I don't think they've been checked today. Let's check it out. Man, I've lost my breath just trying to bring in that bloody piece of wood. Well, there we go. Nine chickens. How many eggs we got? One, two, three, six. That's nine. Beautiful girls. But uh, how's that for a little session down at North Coogee? That's what we do. Um, yeah, just a little lamb-based fish, lamb-based squid. Um, pretty good actually. I think I've got ten. Uh, I found one 
just hiding in the ink that little pool of ink so I think I've got 10 I haven't cleaned them yet so I've just got back from work we're not getting out chicken just wants to escape but uh yeah how's that for a um land based squid so you know what I'm hungry let's get this recipe going for the family now you know that's fresh Alrighty guys, look at that, bloody beautiful. So what I'm doing is I'm going down the back here just to meditate and see where I'm going to put this big ass log. I'll say I'll put it over there, that's where I'll put it, but I'm going to sit here, enjoy this beautiful pasta meal, look at that. If that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will, but that is super simple. I'm going to sit here on this chair. Right next to my uh, good friend here, he's got the right idea. But um, let me just put this camera down for you, and uh, we'll have a taste test. There you go. Simple pasta dish, white sauce. I'm not going to say it's a carbonara because it's not a traditional carbonara. But look at that, perfect. I put the tentacles in there as well. Kids love them. We'll try. The squid first. Magnificent. Tender. Soft. Fresh. That is bloody beautiful, guys. If you love your pasta, which a lot of people love their pasta, this is gluten free because my wife is gluten free. But look at that. So, what I'm going to do is I may be up in Coral Bay with Mick from Monday. Uh, we've got a couple of jobs there to do. Uh, we'll take the boat as well and hopefully get on some fish. But other than that guys, quick land based squid, dinner is sorted. I'm in the good books. And you know what? I'm going to sit here and enjoy it in the veggie garden and meditate with me chickens, bees, vegetables, and fresh squid. Bon appetit. That is staying salty. <laughs> 